Yes, welcome back. You're tuned to your Feel Good Breakfast Show Express, so right here on SABC3. Now, it's a very special edition of Final Frontier this morning. Now, hot of the press on Friday, South Africa officially launched the Meerkat Radio Telescope. Now, it sits in the middle of the Northern Cape and consists of 64 giant dishes that are each 13 and a half meters in diameter. It is spectacular. Now, one man who's been smiling since Friday is Dr. Daniel Kanema, who attended the launch himself and is right here on our couch this morning. Daniel, man, how are you feeling, dude? Yeah, like, it's Excited. Eh? <laughs> I mean, I know everyone's excited about the sport, but like this was super exciting. Look, man, we're going to get un unfold uh, unfold this a little bit more. But what a momentous achievement, not only for South Africa, but I mean for world science as well. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, we're we're on the world stage um, truly now. Yeah. I mean, this is a, an incredible instrument and an incredible achievement for South and, Africa. And I can just imagine. I mean, you had firsthand experience what it was like to stand there. Um, I mean, it, we we see the pictures, but I mean, yeah. these things are huge. They're huge. I mean, you know, 20 meters tall, like. Standing next to it and moving silently around, it's, 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 it's very, very impressive. Okay, so let's talk about the Meerkat. Uh, what is it made of exactly and how, how does it work, first of all? Yeah, so the, as you said, there's 64 no. of these dishes. They're about 13 meters in collecting area. Um, and they all work together as one big telescope. Okay. So they're all collecting radio waves. So that's a, a form of light, very, very long wavelength. Yeah. They're collecting it to a point, um, turning it into a digital signal which is going into fiber optics into these massive supercomputers to work as one big telescope. I mean, this, this sounds super futuristic, and the fact that we have it here in the Northern Cape is absolutely amazing. Um, now, there was this one really incredible image that was released in conjunction with the launch. All right, let's pull it up quickly. Yeah, yeah. Um, uh, just explain this image to us and exactly yeah. what, what did we see. There so, we go. So, yeah, so basically, they, um, they wanted to sort of prove what Meerkat could do and try and see how far we could push it. Okay. This here is the center of our galaxy, the Milky Way. Right the here. center, okay. So at the center of our galaxy, there's a, there's a massive black hole, yeah. a, a supermassive black hole. Okay. It's four million times the mass of our sun. Wow. So it's huge. And it's sitting in the middle here. Yeah. And what, what the, this, this radio telescope is really, really good at doing is not seeing stars, but seeing the gas around these stars. Yeah. So that's what we're seeing here is all a whole lot of gas and it's doing some crazy stuff. I mean, you can see these filaments going through here. These bubbles that you can see on the side are from supernova yeah. that have exploded and made bubbles of gas. It's, it's an incredibly sort of violent and dynamic area. Yeah. And amazing amount of information for scientists to try and I can just imagine out. but I mean stuff like this I mean it's hard for the average person to kind of take in and understand <laughs> I mean because yeah. it's hard to think of space yeah. as it is because yeah. it, it keeps on growing it keeps yeah. on expanding um, so so this will now form part of a big international project called of course the square kilometer array which we know as well what exactly is the mission of this project the meerkat so so basically these yeah. radio telescopes as i said are, are very good at looking at gas yeah so we can look out and see the night sky we can see stars and we can see where they are and other galaxies but we don't necessarily know where those stars come from and how they form by looking at the gas we can see sort of the, the life cycle the full life cycle of a, of a galaxy or a star yeah. Um, and this is one of the main drivers. There, there are other ones we'll, we'll have a better understanding of dark matter. We'll be able to map the universe as a whole um, to yeah. a much better precision than we've ever done before. So it, it really is a, a groundbreaking instrument which yeah. is going to um, completely change our understanding of the universe. It's Absolutely, and I mean, uh, so much research has been put into the universe and the yeah. stars over recent years, but I think this will definitely is a step in a different direction as well. And personally for you, I mean, what are you most looking forward to coming out of this, this mission, this project? Well, I mean, I think the, the one thing which we, we always talk about is the, the sort of unknown unknowns. Yeah. So we know what we're looking for, we know what we're going to look for, but we don't know what we're going to discover that we weren't looking for. Yeah. So. That, that, that's the really exciting stuff. We're going to probably in the next 10 or 15 years discover something which we had never conceived of. Okay. And that's super exciting. I what mean, would that look like? <laughs> I, 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 mean, I, I can't even conceive of it. Like, you, you build this massive telescope, which is super sensitive. Yeah. It's, it's looking into an, an area of space in more detail than you've ever looked before. Yeah. Something's going to come up. And we don't know what it is. So, so some sort of understanding of physics or something yeah. is going to come out of these yeah. experiments. And I mean, we were just talking about the location as well, there in the north of Cape Canaveral. Yeah. That's where. So why, why is this such a pristine spot for, yeah. for the Meerkat radio telescope? Yeah, it was a long drive. <laughs> um, <laughs> but, but basically, you want somewhere where there is no radio interference. So no cell phones, 
no um, TV signal, no nothing. So it's, it's, a, it's a very, very quiet area um, because these are very, very sensitive telescopes. They're picking up signals which are billions and billions of times more, sense, more yeah. weaker than, than your cell phone signal. Man, um, so is there yeah. life out there? That's what well, we are maybe, I mean, hopefully, I don't know. I don't know why I want to say it, but uh, Daniel, thank you very much for joining us this morning, man. I can see the excitement in your <laughs> eyes. You are super excited, but we're going to get you back for all of the updates on that. But definitely a proud moment for South Africa. The SA Meerkat Radio Telescope is now officially working in the Northern Cape.